In the morning quiet of South Carolina's low country, there's work to be done. All right, let's see what we got. Marine biologist Brian Frazier and a team of researchers conduct the 25th annual survey of baby sharks. Using gill nets, a drum line, and long lines baited with mackerel. This looks like a pretty big piece of bait for a baby shark. You know, these, these baby sharks are, you know, they're a little bigger than you think, and, and, they're, and they're definitely hungry. 45 miles north of Charleston, from these estuaries, nature's nurseries, we got a baby shark. Baby shark. They pull the infant versions of the creatures oh, we right fear. They're here because there's just abundant prey for them. How long do baby sharks stay in this estuary? Most of them are only here for about four months. With the precision of a NASCAR pit crew, so as oh. not to stress the babies, lots of fine tooth. They bring up the sharks. Partly healed, female. Record the sex age length. 457, 573. Tag the dorsal fin where it doesn't hurt. Tag number 72651. Then back in the water they go, all in under a minute. What are the headlines so far from this year's survey? You know, business as usual, right? Shark populations are continuing to rebound, so we're seeing good numbers this year. All the species that should be are here, and, and that's a good thing. On this trip, they brought in six different species with a little help. So this is a female sandbar shark. Uh -huh. um, How old? You, so this, go? you can barely see the umbilical yeah. scar right there. So this one is probably about three weeks old. You can tell it's a female. She doesn't have claspers there. Uh -huh. And this is one of the slowest growing species we have in South Carolina. How, how big will she eventually get to be? She will get to about seven to, to eight feet. Wow. Um, but it's going to take her about 15 years to mature. But the vast majority were fine tooth sharks. Brian, coming in hot. Yep. All right. I like it. Male. Oh, yep. And he's doing feisty. I like it. Uh, well healed. Is that one more fine tooth? Got him. All right. Yep. All right. It's a male. Um, well healed. The most eye catching the scalloped hammerhead. So this guy is probably about a month old. You know, James's tag, let this little guy here. James is Dr. James Sulikowski of Oregon State. We're gonna release his life a little hammer. Look at him go. On the East Coast to see the results of his satellite birth tag, revealing where the sharks have their pups. This pregnant hammerhead swam from Cape Hatteras, North Carolina to South Carolina to give birth. We're finding that these large sharks are giving birth in these really coastal areas. So as these areas change, you know, with climate um, and urbanization, we need to know where those sharks are so we can interact uh, better as human beings. Can sharks and people coexist in the ocean? I hope so. The ocean is the shark's home and we are intruders into their homes. We need them to have a healthy ocean. Now, if you're wondering why sharks are so crucial, these apex predators keep the ocean in balance, a balance that keeps millions of people around the world who depend on the ocean for jobs employed. And for those of us who like fish and shellfish fed, they are very, very mm -hmm. important. Well, they're cute too. I'm mm -hmm. actually when they're babies. Yeah, when they're babies. When they're exactly. They're handling them and no, you know, because they're because they're small and because I was with people who knew how to do it. They told me to hold them by the gills. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you do, and they they squirm a lot, but they they feel they're kind of rough. The, they're they're squirmy. They're Did you try baby talk at all with them? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who's a good little shark? Who's a good little shark? Who's a good little shark? Who's a little shark? Who's a little shark? <laughs> Savannah brought up a good point. Like, what about the mama sharks? Are they do they get upset when you scoop the babies out of the water? So. I thought our mama shark, sharks like grizzly bears who are very protective of their cubs. No, they swim away because sharks can eat their young. So Ooh. they swim oh, wow. away so they don't eat what they produce. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> sorry we asked. So, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, on that note. It took a little turn. <laughs> yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Annie. Sharks aren't like us. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Annie. But you in got case, out. In case there was a question. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to love sharks more after this. Yes, we know. Oh, man. Oh. All right. <laughs> Mother's Day certainly takes a turn there. <laughs> Let's show you what we got going on. Come here, my little buddy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, 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 we're oh. looking at some strong storms in the midsection of the country.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.